So I'm fairly confident I'm gonna get a bunch of hateful comments from this video, but hear me out. I really like the idea of them. The ability to move around your page completely with your keyboard is right up my alley. So much so that I use Vimium in Chrome. The ability to find and jump to any element on the page with a few keystrokes is, is just amazing. Um, and if that sounds interesting to you, I have a video all about Vimium I'll, I'll post right here. But the, the issue I have is that every app you use has to support Vim motions to make it all worthwhile. There are tools like Kind of Vim that try to bring a Vim-like experience to macOS, but it still doesn't feel quite fully baked. We're most of the way there, but you can't use Vim commands in URL fields or navigate within Electron apps, which are just too many of the apps that I actually use on a daily basis. And it's too painful to have these superpowers only 80% of the time. I worry a bit about betting my entire ability to move around my computer on one app that intends to be paid in the future. Um, it seems like a really great way to get held ransom at some point. So I'm sure at this point you're like, Brandon, if you're so against them, what are you gonna use instead? And where I'm at right now is I just plan to use my keyboard, um, but remapped a little bit. The thing I commonly find myself wanting to fix with Vim is the ability to have cursor navigation, movement, and selection um, all without having to use your arrow keys. And I think I've got that most of the way solved by borrowing a handful of key commands from Jason Rudolph's keyboard. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the comments, but there's this area of that Git repo that allows you to hold S and D on your keyboard to unlock H, J, K, L arrow keys, but also allowing you to combine Alt, Shift, and Command with those. That was always the limitation that I found myself running into with the hyper H, J, K, L setup that I've been using for the last six months or so. By using the super duper mappings with S and D inside of Jason Rudolph's keyboard, you can get all the navigation of having Alt, Shift, and Commands. That means you can move forward a word, move back a word, but also do selection at the same time. So if you wanna select a word, you can do that without ever having to leave the home row, which is the thing that I found myself always wanting to do with them. So let me show it to you. So I'm gonna to attempt to demonstrate how some of this works. And the key piece of this is if you press both S and D on your keyboard at the same time, it will transform your H, J, K, and L keys to H, J, K, L arrow keys. So if I go with my L key, it'll go you know, forward a letter. If I go with H, it'll go back a letter. If I add A, this is the same as having Alt pressed. And so now it'll go forward a word, back a word. If I swap out A for F, I'll get Command instead of Option. So SD plus F, and then if I hit right arrow now to go to the end of the line, if I hit H, I'll go to the beginning of the line, then you can do the same thing with your down and up arrow keys to go to the end of the page, end of the top of the page. So it's the same thing as me holding Command and hitting the right arrow key but I no longer have to leave my home row, which is really handy. Um, so again, I had this with Hyper on Caps Lock, and then I could do this with H, J, K, and L, but the issue was I could no longer combine Alt, Command, and Shift to do selection, which was the thing that I really found myself wanting. So now if I wanna do selection, I just add in spacebar with it. So if I wanna select bacon, I hold A and then spacebar and then right arrow, and then I can get rid of a backspace. Now, if I wanna get rid of this whole line, then I can, again, hold F and then spacebar, and then that'll get the whole line. If I don't wanna select it, I do the same thing, but I just don't hold spacebar. So this gives me all of the things that I have down here, but without ever having to leave the home row, which is really, really nice. And then I still have escape on cap locks. So if I tap, although interesting, escape doesn't actually get rid of it in drafts, but um, if I need escape, that's where it's at. The one other thing I pull from Jason Rudolph's keyboard is the ability to delete a word forward or back. So like, let's say I'm at dollar, whatever that is. If I hold alt and then hit L, it'll delete a word forward. And I did two there. If I want to delete a word back, then I can do H. I've been considering binding this to hyper because I don't love that I have to leave the home row to get to that, but I haven't used it long enough yet to know for sure what I want, but I think that's sort of the way I'm leaning. So full disclosure, I've been using this for about two weeks now, and so my muscle memory is not quite perfect yet, but it still feels surprisingly natural. I think the one thing I was really surprised about is how natural this felt to me, like immediately. Like being able to jump by word, I think is how my brain sort of naturally works. And, and to not have to shift down here to do that has been really nice. I can continue to type in sort of a natural way and type new words. And then if I screw up, then I just hit Alt and go back. So that's just been really convenient. 
hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video and, and dealing with my rant. Um, if you are a Vim user, I would love to hear from you down in the comments as to what is that key feature that makes it all worth it. Thanks, have a great day. Hey guys, before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please tap the like button. If you didn't, then that other button works too. And you can help me out a ton by subscribing to the channel. Thanks, have a great day, peace.